We have been documenting the changes reshaping Jersey City, physically and culturally, mostly downtown where condo towers have replaced empty lots, but in the inner city, here in the heart of the black community, Orthodox Jews have been arriving on Martin Luther King Drive over the past several months, and their presence is being noticed. This is Yul Pearl, a spokesperson for the Yazoru Committee, which is opening a community center on MLK. Most of the people that's coming here, are, are most of them are from, from Brooklyn, and they live in, the, in Williamsburg. Yeah. To buy a house in Williamsburg now, it's a, a, a million point five. The price here is going now for, to buy a house. Uh, $100,000, $200,000. So with this, we could, we could, uh, um, the, the, the low-income people could, could uh, uh, afford this, this, the, the, these things. In that way, the Hasidim who have discovered the Bergen, Lafayette, and Greenville neighborhoods are not unlike the recently arrived hipsters downtown, just looking for cheap housing. But Hasidim are known to be insular, and longtime residents here are known to be distrustful of anybody new. So far, the two sides just seem to be sizing each other up. You just know me. I know him. I, just, I, just, I know him. I know. I live right here. He's a nice I guy. I know him. Everybody from my door. Pearl says since January, 11 families have moved into this neighborhood, still one of the toughest in the city. He says 50 to 60 homes are already under contract. The committee is marketing apartments to families for affordable rents, $800 for one bedroom, $1,100 for a two bedroom. If you were to look into the future, yes. in two years, five years, yes, yes. what would this community look like? We don't know this. We don't. We, we can't say uh, what's going to be uh, in, in the future. In the future. Yes. But 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 this this we have to told. We we don't want to throw out people. We don't because here is it's, it's many houses for sale. So we understand. Real estate agent Tina Devine grew up in this very neighborhood and has seen its demise. And now it's rise. Tell me what the market is like here on on and around MLK. Um, the market is hot. It's hot. Sellers are selling at or above asking price. There are a lot of investors that are moving into the neighborhood. Um, and then there's low inventory. So that's creating a higher demand for the neighborhood. But already some residents have begun to complain about aggressive buyers, whose persistence, they say, borders on harassment. Shinya Johnson is on the board of the nearby South Greenville Neighborhood Association. When you have people, you know, day after day, week after week, knocking on their door, like, do you want to sell? And telling them this is going to happen, that is going to happen. And th they're basically scaring them into selling. And they're offering people, you know, $90,000, $150,000 for, for buildings that can go for a million or better. And that, as a you know, member of the Neighborhood Association, a concerned resident, I have a concern about that. Is that happening? Uh, it's, it, it's yes. It's it's a it's problem. This it's it, 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 many people, Hasidic people, that wants to come here and they want to buy houses for cheap, and so 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 they're asking, uh, but they, they are trying, but 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 if the if if they doesn't they don't want to sell it, they could told it not. Yeah. Well, they do, do they take no for an answer, or do they keep trying to... No, no, they take no, of, of course, of course, no is no. We've heard this before in towns like Lakewood and Tom's River, where the city is now considering an ordinance to outlaw this kind of soliciting. And then there's the history of places like Crown Heights, where tensions between blacks and Orthodox Jews exploded into violence in the 1990s. No, don't get me wrong. I appreciate what they do, because they try to help people, right? But I don't like no conniving stuff, you know. Like, hey, don't do that. Don't deceive me. Right. All right. Because if you do that, then you're going to get violence. You know, people will say that, but I tend not to look at it in that way. That's what we do not want to happen. Yeah. It's not a new thing to have uh, an Orthodox Jewish community and a predominantly African-American community living together and living together in a great neighborhood. Um, and that's hopefully what that ends up being. And uh, it's just still in the very early phases of this, but uh, we'll see where it goes. Change here is inevitable and fraught with the potential for conflict. But change also presents opportunities for progress and dynamism that hasn't been seen here in decades. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.